Uh, basic particulars of the vessel, uh, she's 124 foot overall length and 40 foot beam. And She'll have a draft of approximately 19 feet when operating. She carries 140,000 gallons of fuel oil and a crew of 12 people on board. Her basic propulsion power comes from two General Motors EMD engines. They're 16 cylinder 710 model, rated at 3,500 horsepower apiece, giving the tug a total horsepower of 7,000. The propellers they drive through are 140 inch diameter stainless steel, five blades, manufactured by Bird Johnson Company. The electrical generating power is provided by four 99 kilowatt Northern Lights generators. And the connecting unit, which couples her to the bars, is an intercon made by Intercontinental Engineering with the 50 inch diameter steel pin, which connects to the barge. And to touch on the barge for a moment, which uh, she'll be married to, is 504 feet in overall length and 78 foot beam, and is capable of carrying 140,000 barrels of uh, fuel product. Together, they will be home boarded in New York and deliver fuel products for Mobile's distribution system from New York and north to the Canadian border. Even though she is not complete at this stage, there has already been a tremendous amount of effort expended by many people to get to this point. This has probably been as close a call as I can remember to get the vessel prepared for launching, including losing electrical power and some things like that. <laughs> And to all of you here at the shipyard, and to those others who support this effort, I'd like to really say thank you. It's been a tremendous effort by everybody concerned, uh, sometimes not so easy. And uh, believe me, every, everyone's put forth a tremendous effort to get to this point. Thanks very much, guys. And we hope we all get to do it again someday. The size isn't particularly a challenge in, in itself, but uh, it's, a, it's a very heavily built boat, uh, and some of that's posed somewhat of a challenge. Uh, and uh, I'd say just the, the coordination of some of the components, I mean, the intercon unit itself, the big coupler unit, I mean, being a long, long lead item, I mean, took some planning around that, uh, you know, just to coordinate the rest of the construction in order to leave the top deck open uh, long enough to, uh, to install without.